Assalamualaikum and good evening. As the Trump administration pushes for peace in Afghanistan, a new U.S. watchdog report says Afghan security forces are shrinking, gaps in security are growing, and the Taliban are largely holding their own despite a surge in American bombing. These trends reflect what U.S. military officials call a stale method war more than 17 years after U.S. forces invaded following the September 11, 2001 attacks. In a report to Congress, it said the Afghan government controls or influences 54% of districts down from 56% a year earlier and the Taliban's share slip from 14% to 12%. Trump administration claims of progress in talks with the Taliban have sparked fears even among the president's allies that his impatience with the war in Afghanistan will lead him to withdraw troops too soon, leaving the country at risk of returning to the same volatile condition that prompted the invasion in the first place. Discussions between a U.S. envoy and the Taliban are advancing weeks after the administration said it wanted to begin drawing down troops in Afghanistan. That has prompted some critics to note that President Donald Trump is telegraphing a withdrawal the same thing he accused President Barack Obama of doing by saying he wanted to end the American combat mission in 2014. U.S. and Chinese negotiators are holding high-level talks aimed at settling a six-month trade war that has weakened both sides, shaken financial markets and clouded the outlook for the global economy. Yet the odds seem stacked against any substantive resolution this week to the standoff between the world's two biggest economies. As the U.S. and Chinese delegations met for the start of two days of talks, U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer welcomed a Chinese team led by Vice Premier Liu He. That's all from me. For more news, go to tvsort.com. Don't forget to share this video. I'm Iqbal Yusuf. Thanks for watching.